Senator Steve Daines was the first U.S. Senator to make the trip to Ukraine since the Russian invasion. And we've heard Vladimir Putin called a lot of things. Now Senator Daines is calling him a terrorist. We want to warn you, some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing to some. The first U.S. Senator to visit Ukraine since the Russian invasion tells Newsy he's forever changed by what he encountered on the ground. The smell of death is something you'll never forget. We were literally in the edge of this uh, of this trench, watching the bodies being zoomed, watching bodies being pulled out and then taken to a tent where there are forensic investigators who were processing the crime scene. In fact, they even asked me, they said, Senator, we want you to see this. So they actually unzipped a bag. We want to show you the wounds, see the bullet wounds in the back of the head. I mean, it's a horrific, horrific images I hope nobody ever would see in their lives. Senator Steve Daines, a Republican from Montana, traveled to Ukraine with Ukrainian-American Representative Victoria Sparts, a Republican from Indiana. There have been strong words against Putin, um, certainly, and after seeing what you saw, and I know you, you, you talked about war crimes and that he needs to be held accountable for these war crimes, I mean, would you classify him as a terrorist? Um, he is creating, he is committing acts of terror, and the answer is yes. He is committing war crimes. He is committing atrocities, and he needs, be, he needs to be held accountable for it. The Danes' comments come on the heels of a Washington Post report that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky directly asked President Joe Biden to designate Russia a state sponsor of terrorism. The White House hasn't taken that step yet. The Secretary of State would need to determine the government, government of that country has repeatedly provided support for acts of international terrorism. And these, uh, of course, designations are made after careful review. And Tuesday, more pressure. The International Working Group on Russian Sanctions, chaired by the former U.S. ambassador to Russia, issued an action plan for putting pressure on Putin to end the war. One item on the list, designate the Russian Federation as a sponsor of state terrorism. A Ukrainian-born New York City councilwoman called Putin a terrorist in early March, while other congressional lawmakers have had harsh words for Putin, including Lindsey Graham calling for him to be assassinated, he didn't say the T-word. Meantime, Danes wrote a letter to President Joe Biden calling for him to restore a diplomatic presence in Ukraine. He also wants more lethal aid now. This will not end until the war ends. And the war is not going to end until Ukraine wins the war. So it's about accelerating the lethal aid, getting in the hands of the Ukrainians as quickly as possible, as Putin and the Russians now are resetting and, and for probably more of invasion from the east and from the south. In early March, Danes was one of 31 senators who voted against a $1.5 trillion omnibus spending bill. It included $13.5 billion in aid for Ukraine. Critics have been quick to point out the contradiction, but Danes tells Newsy he voted against the larger package because it was filled with what he considers wasteful spending. It's a nice political hit for our you know, colleagues to say, well, they vote against funding for Ukraine. Listen, that would have had, I think, probably would have passed unanimously if it would have let it pass standalone. And they could have done that. The Danes' letter to Biden stops short of calling for Russia to be added to the list of state sponsors of terrorism, but it does support investigations into war crimes. He also wants to see more American leaders go to Ukraine in a show of solidarity. It is strength that takes down a bully, not weakness. Weakness invites bullies. And Vladimir Putin, Putin as we said, he's far more than a bully. He's a terrorist, and he's one who's committed war crimes through his troops on the ground in Ukraine. The evidence is irrefutable. I've seen that with my own eyes. Now, Senator Dane sent that letter to the White House just a couple hours ago. It's co-signed by Representative Sparts, who is with him in Ukraine. It says they're ready to help the administration ensure the U.S. is fully engaged to stop the atrocities happening there and to, quote, hold Vladimir Putin and his agents accountable for their barbaric actions.